one dead, several injured, plane hit by severe turbulence. A single fatality and multiple passengers injured occurred when Singapore airline SIA flight SQ321 en route from London to Singapore encountered severe turbulence as reported by the airline. A bit of turbulence and suddenly the plane plunged, um, I don't know how far, but it was, they said 6,000 feet, it didn't seem like 6,000 feet, but it was a long way and so sudden there was no warning at all. And I ended up hitting my head on the uh, ceiling, my wife did. Some poor people who were walking around ended up doing somersaults. It was instantaneous. It really was. And horrible. Sia stated at the Boeing 777-300ER with 211 passengers and 18 crews on board was redirected to Bangkok and touched down at 3.45 p.m. local time on Tuesday. Our heartfelt condolences go out to the family of the deceased. We will continually update through our Facebook and X account. The statement read on Facebook. Sia emphasized that their primary focus is to offer comprehensive assistance to all passenger and crew members aboard the aircraft. The airline affirmed its collaboration with Thai local authorities to facilitate the requested medical aids and dispatch the team to Bangkok to offer any supplementary assistance required. I'm profoundly sadness by the unfortunate incidents involving Singapore Airlines flight SQ321 from London Heathrow to Singapore, express Transport Minister Chi Hong Tat on social media platform dedicated to the youth. Chi stated that the Ministry of Transport Singapore Ministry from Foreign Affairs, the Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore, Changi Airport official and SIA personnel are extending support to the affected passengers and their family. I extend my condolences to the family of the deceased, he conveyed. Meanwhile, Singapore Airlines provide an update on its Facebook page indicating of 7.50 p.m. Singapore time, 18 passengers were hospitalized while another 12 received medical treatment. The remaining passengers and crew are undergoing examination and receiving necessary care at Suwamuni International Airport in Bangkok, the statement read on Facebook.